we're at Stock and Shop. We're gonna make some some bomb shiksuka. And um, well, we were here yesterday, and we got here at like 11:50, and we were like, "All right, go, 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 go." And then I took a long time to get peppers. No, it has to be perfect. Okay, to the bread aisle. We were looking for bread, and then the guy goes, "Yeah, we're closed. You can't buy anything." So we're just leaving the basket under in the corner for tomorrow morning so that we don't have to do this whole process again. <laughs> yeah, this was a, a huge failure. And now we're back. And now we're back. I think it's still gonna be there, but you think that it's not gonna be there? Let's, let's check it out, see if the basket's still there. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> We have to do it all over again. <laughs> all right, let's go. How do you tell what a good tomato is? Well, for shukshuka, it's good that they're kind of soft. When they're soft, they cook a little better. He's checking out our groceries. Oh, is he gonna go in the bag? That's my favorite thing that cats do. So I started by adding olive oil and like the onions. I let them like get a little bit see-through. <laughs> I'm cutting the pepper right now. I like to cut them really small because then they cook a little better and they're not just like a big chunk in your face. All right, we gotta let these cook a little bit and then we'll put in the tomatoes. I hope they're still juicy. I'm opening a spot for the egg to comfortably sit. Nuzzled in between the tomato sauce. I use either feta or goat cheese. Just roll chunks of tasty cheese in the middle of the yumminess of the shukshuka. So now is like the best time to take it out, cause it, it after I take it out, it'll just keep like bubbling and it's still really hot. Oh, look at that! I seasoned it pretty well. I'm I'm actually really happy with this. It's really good. I really hope that you like it a lot.